So today we're going to be reviewing the crate I just bought for my new 4Runner. It's made by a company called TNC Crates. They did not pay me for this video in any way. In fact, I'm pretty sure I paid full price for this uh, crate. Um, I was looking for a solution for my 4Runner. Uh, anybody that knows a four, owns a 4Runner and has dogs probably has the same dilemma that I had in that you can't find inserts for them if you want to do a full conversion on the back um, so it's uh, you know find a crate that fits or have one custom made or um, something like that and in my case I wanted the ability to keep the back seats up for passengers when I wanted to. Now I don't have them up all the time uh, but I do want the ability to have them up and I don't want to have to take the kennel out every time I put my seats up. So with that being said I did my own measurements and contacted this company and uh, worked with them to come up with a solution for the fifth generation 4Runner and this is what we came up with and it worked out really really well okay so the first thing is this thing comes shipped uh, strapped down to a pallet wrapped in uh, Tyvek and cardboard and press board it's really packaged as well as anything could be so there's really no chance of any damage short of extreme neglect on the part of the shipper which didn't happen and I'm sure it doesn't happen very often at all um, that being said, the quality of the uh, overall product itself is just absolutely stellar. So the first thing is the attention to detail that this, co this company goes through to give you a quality product is just absolutely astounding to me. They've really thought of everything. Uh, the cutouts for these fans are something that I requested. I told them what company and what model fan I was going to use and they'd already worked with this company before so they had the template already. I didn't even have to provide them any measurements or templates. I just said hey I'm gonna use a 9 inch Prairie Logic fan. They said okay no problem. I said I want two cutouts for those on the back of uh, the kennel and they just put them there right right exactly where I want them. Another thing you'll notice about the back of this kennel and the front and the sides are these silver uh, screws and that's how it's put together. Now what that does for you is it allows you to take and put the tie downs wherever you want them on the kennel. Um, you got tie downs in the back of your SUV you want to tie this thing down and, and make it solid uh, you can put those tie downs on the back, the front, the sides, high, low, really anywhere you want them so you can match up the uh, straps to match exactly where the tie downs in your vehicle are. The crate comes with a divider which is bolted into place and in my case I took it out because I only have one dog that I transport. I have three dogs but only have one dog that I transport on a regular basis uh, for a sport that we do called Schutzend. Um, so this particular crate is really made for my one dog but I went ahead and let them put the divider in anyway just in case later I wanted to use it for two smaller dogs. Anyway, um, as well as the divider, it comes with these handles that you see on top of the crate. When I say attention to detail, this is another thing I'm talking about. Not only are these handles on there, they're spring-loaded to hold them down to the kennel itself. So in other words, if you pick up on them, they're easy to pick up on so you can move the crate around but when you let them go they're spring loaded and there's actually like a rubber piece around the handle to keep it from rattling um, which is what the spring is for as well it just holds it down tight to the kennel you're driving around the rubber keeps the metal from hitting the metal and you don't have any of those issues that you would otherwise have where you know you're riding and the metal is just clinging and clanking around and 
So again, they, they just have thought of everything, really. I, I'm really pleased with the crate. I, I can't say enough good things about it. The gauge of the metal is, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's thick. Guys, the doors are really thick. I mean, the doors are probably a quarter of an inch thick. I'm just guessing, but uh, when you look at them, they're, they're solid. And uh, it's, it's heavy. It's not so heavy you can't move it around. Um, I would, you know, my crate, I, I'm a pretty decent sized guy, so I got it in there myself without any issues. Uh, but I could have used a hand, to be honest. If, if I had somebody there to help me, I, I would have <laughs> preferred to use two people. Not because of the weight, just because of the size. Um, but as you see, it fits in nicely uh, behind. I can keep my seats up now. Uh, don't have to put them down every time I put a kennel in the car. I just keep the kennel in there at all times. The only time I'd ever take it out would be if I had to use the SUV for something else, which is rare because we have two of them so um anyway that's my thoughts uh, i would highly recommend tnc crates to anyone looking for a, a solution for their forerunner or any other vehicle really i mean it's just a great crate all the way around this one was custom made but you can certainly uh, order from their website and they have standard sizes as well uh, I don't remember the name of the person I dealt with, but I emailed back and forth with somebody. They were very responsive to my emails and um, kept answering my questions over and over again, and I had a lot of them. Uh, super nice to deal with. Really fast turnaround time. It, it came uh, even quicker than it was promised and it was promised I think in something like four to six weeks but I got it in less than that so um, anybody uh, has any questions or anything you can put them down in the comments uh, uh, you know video is not as professional as, as uh, some so sorry for that uh, I used pictures in this one rather than video it was just easier to do and I wanted to show you close-ups of everything uh, sorry for the bird in the background. Guys, you, you guys will listen to the rest of my videos. You, you know he's there. Tequila can be a loud mouth sometimes. But uh, anyway, it's not the Sundance Film Festival like I say. It's YouTube. So hope this helps somebody out and have a great day.